you guys are wondering, what's the deal, Jamie? That's the deal. I feel like someone hit me in the face with a brick. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie V. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing the what's in my bag, but it's gonna be the YouTube edition. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is going through and showing you guys what is in my YouTube bag, what do I carry with me, what do I keep in this hefty bag, um, and everything in there is kind of basically either editing or filming related. So if you are excited to see what I carry in my YouTube bag, then go ahead and keep watching. So I've done one of these videos before and it was a what's in my bag, like a, my actual purse. And I wanted to do one again, like an updated one. But the problem is because I'm teleworking and all that fun jazz, I don't have a bag that I actually carry recently. Like literally I cleaned out my purse mid 2020 and never redid it because I'm, I don't really go anywhere. If I do go, it's like a grocery store or something and I just grab my wallet. So I don't have my traditional bag right now to show you guys. So I did want to go ahead and make it a little bit spicier, a little bit different and show you guys what is in my YouTube bag and what do I carry and all that fun stuff. This is my bag. I got this from Amazon. It has the nice little handle here. It does have like two pockets and then on the inside, it's actually like fleece fuzzy like it's just super super soft and like cozy and I could probably cover up with it if it was big enough but it's very heavy duty I got it from Amazon like I said I think I paid like $25 for it I'm not sure I will pop it right here for you guys to see but um no it wasn't very expensive at all so I guess we'll go into the small pockets first let's go into the big pocket this is what I mean like it's like very it's plush and soft the so. first thing in here is it's important tax documents that I just shoved in there the other day. Disregard. Then the next thing is my iPad. I do keep my iPad in here and it comes with this nice little strap. This is like its own little book itself. And then it comes with like a nice little stand. It's dead. I haven't charged it. And it stands like this. And then this is what I like the most about it. It swivels. So however I want to do it, whether it be standing up or laying down and my Apple pencil is in here. So I got this from Amazon as well, but this is actually like, this is thick. It's a very, very thick case. So I could probably just carry this around by itself and it'd be safe, but I just toss it into the bag just to make it easier. So I'm not carrying a bunch of things around. And the next thing in my bag is my YouTube book. This is my YouTube planning book. Basically, I do all of my notes, my video ideas, my editing ideas, filming schedule, all that stuff. Uh, I did a video about how to plan your YouTube videos. If you wanna see that, I'll go ahead and link that up here for you guys to check out. And I go thoroughly and deeply through this book and how I I use it and the best way to use it so I will go ahead and link that up for you guys to check out and then I have my today I affirm it's just an affirming journal that I got from five below I got it in a haul and so I started really really writing in it and I'm not gonna lie guys I haven't written this in like two weeks I should probably write in it again I, that's what I'm saying like when I talk about like, doing things in my self-care video I'll put that up here I did that one yesterday it just kind of like sometimes you forget you know you start things and then you just forget but it's in here so I can try to remember to use it I just added like a little black heart to it with sharpie and then the year because I like to keep these just to look back on and reflect and then I have a MacBook charger cord a MacBook charging box and then I have my MacBook this actually used to have a case but the case was kind of breaking up so I just took it off but then I was like well I can't just carry my MacBook around like this that's kind of dangerous so I decided to get this bag and then I was able to put everything else in the bag too with it so I do have my MacBook I'm thinking about getting an iMac which is basically if you don't know what that is um the desktop version of a MacBook that's it that's all it is but it is much more expensive. Uh, the only reason I haven't and I've stayed with a MacBook is because it's more versatile in like where I can put it. If I wanna edit downstairs, I can edit downstairs. If I wanna edit at my aunt's house, I can edit at my aunt's house. If I wanna, you know, travel with it, I can where an iMac kind of just sits here. But I'm thinking about getting it so I can have an editing station or I might be getting it when we move, when I have a whole editing and filming room to myself instead of my bedroom and then that way I can go down into my room I can put my airpods in and I can just fill or I can just edit my footage so I don't know yet so let's go into these smaller pockets because that is it for in here 
and again this is so soft like this bag is so soft I don't even know how to tell you this. Like, it's like slippers in here. So soft. So small pocket number one, we have some post-its. So for post-its, I use post-its while I'm editing and also while I am gathering and planning my YouTube products. For instance, if I have a video that has like a whole set of skincare or whatever, I'll put the skincare into a basket and I just put the post-it on it that says what day the video is for so I know when to film that. And then for editing purposes, I like to have a post-it on the side of my MacBook so while I'm editing, if I go, hey, this was in a video from blah, blah blah and I don't go I'll put it right here I can put the timestamp on the post-it instead of going back through and having to search through the video to see where I said that so I could just have it there so when I put it onto YouTube I could just go okay seven minutes 51 seconds pop the eye card here so it helps with that and like any other stuff if I want to add something like at the end overlay or something I just kind of write it on the post-it pens why do I say pens like that pens I'm sorry guys just bear with me I do not feel well I have no idea what's happening I have no idea like I literally I haven't been sleeping for the past two nights but that's pretty normal and then today I was like well I'm not gonna have any coffee I'll be fine I was indeed not fine <laughs> so I got off of work at three o'clock and if you guys know I'm teleworking still and I just laid on my couch and I passed the freak out I passed the freak out until like six o'clock and now I'm just like sinusy nasally partially gonna cry like I just don't feel well I have a very bad headache so bear with me if I seem very like Bleh, because I'm trying to be like hey but I'm human and I am experiencing major discomfort so you guys are wondering what's the deal Jamie that's the deal I feel like someone hit me in the face with a brick so the next thing I have in here is my external hard drive it doesn't have the cord the cords in the other pocket is my external hard drive that I use to edit footage on my MacBook I do want to get another one because I want to have a couple of these the next one I want to get I think I'm gonna get the lacy because it comes with a case where this one did not come with a case so like if I drop this I'm kind of screwed um, but this has everything on it like my videos and my editing all of that stuff is on this itty bitty hard drive if you do edit on a MacBook and you don't use an external hard drive I do recommend that you get this and also like you can keep all your videos so many videos on here and just have them like I mean obviously they're on YouTube too but I don't know it's almost like a like a digital photo album for all my stuff but this is what I use to edit on and this is a Seagate portable drive I believe this is a one terabyte and then the next thing I have in there is my airpods these itty bitty things they are the first generation airpods they are wireless headphones they do their job it does come with a cute little case it doesn't come with it it comes in a cute little case that my husband and my children got me for Christmas I tried to hook it to the bag but it just didn't it wasn't doing it it was not staying it kept falling and like flopping around and I was afraid it was gonna like flop open so I just toss it in the bag and I use these while I'm editing I'm thinking about getting actual like headphone headphones just so while I'm editing like when we move and I'm in a bigger space that way while I'm editing I can kind of just drown everything out because these are good but they definitely do not cancel out the noise so sometimes I have to rewatch a clip 18 times because I talk too low sometimes and I'm like what did I just say did I just say something I'm not supposed to say but my kids love them to death loud so yeah might have to might have to invest in some real headphones and then the next thing I have in here is my SD card holder I only have one in here because the other one is in my camera I do have another one that I'm buying it's gonna be a really really big one I think it's like 256 gigabytes but I only have these two right now um, but I just toss it in there because it's for my editing more pens whoa and then I have my hard drive plug which hooks into the hard drive and then hooks into the USB USB plug <laughs> it's not acting a full and the last and one of the most important pieces I have is my USB-C hub so this allows me to plug in an HDMI cord three USB plugs my SD card a mini SD card all in at the same time when I'm playing WoW because sometimes I play it on my MacBook which I found that it kind of kills it so I don't play it as much when I was playing WoW like these would be all plugged all plugged in because like that's the one thing about the MacBook that I can't stand is it has just two USB-C plugs that's it that's all you get so I use this one and I plug it in and then I'm able to plug in anything else that I need whether it be my hard drive my SD card and all that jazz and then this allows me to hook up to a TV 
so if I ever wanted to edit while I was looking at a bigger monitor but honestly I just feel like that's overkill uh, but if I ever did I had that option when the kids were virtually learning before they got their Chromebooks um, I would plug it in and just each one would have their time to do their schoolwork and I would just watch the TV while I was working because the TV's so big and it's right above my desk so I would plug it in to here into the TV and I could see everything they were doing. So I absolutely love this. I also got this from Amazon. Almost everything that you see here I got from Amazon except for my AirPods and my MacBook and the iPad. Um, I even got the Apple Pencil. No, I got the Apple Pencil from Target. I lied. So, um, but most of it I do get from Amazon. I love Amazon. They always have everything that I freaking need all of the time. But that is it, guys, for what is in my YouTube bag. I hope you guys like me changing this one up and not just doing a regular what's in my bag. Kind of just give you something different and what I carry around with me and what I use to edit. Again, if you guys are looking for how to plan your YouTube videos, I will put that video right here on the screen. Go ahead and click that and see how I plan my YouTube videos, how I set up my schedule to do it. If you guys want to see like a behind the scenes of how I film and all that good stuff, then make sure you comment below and let me know. I hope you guys like this video. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do five videos every week and one blooper video every Saturday and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.